Okay, the, this segment is going to be talking about water oxidization. What is water oxidization in catfish hatchery? Why do you have to oxidize your water? Water oxidization in a layman language understanding is what you do to the water to be able to in the freshness of eggs mass, the egg mass during prior after incubation. Whatever you do in a cashier environment like this, after casting the egg, that after hashing, those mass of eggs will not be powerful enough to overcome the fragile fries the fragile fingerlings, uh, sorry, fries of one day, two day, three day going forward. Those masses of wet, decayed eggs and bad eggs and uh, unhashed eggs that are very voluminous, that react and work against everything living there in, in, in hours and perish them, will not have power over your um, incubation system. And I think this is very, very important. Because moving from here, oxidization, since you can use to oxidize your water, you will be having a kind of less flow through uh, because it may not be necessary to if, to even if you use the right chemical and it is done well. Two, uh, the less disturbance to the fish and everything because they will be on top of those egg mass and nothing will be happening to them for two, three weeks until you are ready to flush them out and uh, sort and rework them again. So what are the things you can use to do oxidization of your catfish hash water? Today, the simple one I could have on my hand is the salt, the common salt. Okay, the common salt. So ideally, we use common salt in catfish hashery as a booster for the sperm and the eggs in fertilization. So then, for the catfish hatchery, it is one of the chemicals you can use. Another chemical you can use is the hydrogen peroxide that is safe. Hydrogen peroxide. Uh, people, I have formalin, but I can't bear the odor and the consequent effect of misuse of it is highly unsafe for me to recommend. But the ones I can talk about now, since I couldn't lay my hands on the hydrogen peroxide, which they're selling in the chemist store, I believe, is the common salt. You can also use V. Genetian V, GV. And there are some other ones. As we progress in this training, of course, you know about them. But the one that is most important and the opportunity that you can use and have is this common salt. I would like to apply it in a bucket of water. I would like to apply it. You know, there should be a tingy a tingy, salty taste of your water. Your water should be salty. Salty. Like saline water, 0.9. That is the salinity of your catfish hatchery X water. The salinity is 0.9. So that is sting, salty, light, salty taste. So since we are dealing with a high volume of water here, I guess it will take a lot of that chemical. I can put the remaining. We can agree not actually enter into the pond. So what we are trying to do is to oxidize your catfish water environment so that the masses of the eggs 
the masses of the eggs will not much power over the fries. Imagine this substance can act as a buffer against the effect of that bad egg that helps kill off all your fries. So that is the lesson. Mm -hmm. mm. At least I can smell some, I can test a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I've done this training. I can go ahead for the breeding. Thank you.